Good afternoon, Keller Williams Premier. I want to give you a few minutes uh, uh, and educate you on the PID notice requirement. Beginning September 1st, 2021, sellers will be required to provide a new notice to buyers when selling property located in a public improvement district, PID. If a seller fails to provide the required notice, a buyer will have the right to terminate the contract, in addition to other penalties. TREC and Texas Realtors sales contracts have been updated and TREC has promulgated a new PID notice to meet the statutory requirements. The new PID notice requirements are similar to current Municipal Utility District MUD notice requirements. What are the new PID notice requirements? Sellers of real property located in a PID must provide a notice to buyers prior to the execution of the sales contract. The key word here is prior. The notice may be given separately or as an addendum to the contract. As a listing agent, if you are assisting the seller, you want to do also use the notice of information from other resources and make sure you upload the addenda and onto the MLS along with all the other disclosures and addenda that you upload to the MLS. This applies to sales contracts executed on or after September 1st, 2021. It applies to all real estate transactions, including new construction, condominiums, commercial, and unimproved property. The new notice must contain specific information about the PID, where the property is located, such as the name of the PID and the name of the municipality or county that authorized the PID. Buyers are required to sign the notice as evidence of receipt. A separate copy of the notice must also be executed by both buyers and sellers at closing. And this will be handled by the title company very much in the same manner as the MUD is. Texas Realtors is working closely with the title industry regarding this new requirement. Penalties for failing to provide the PID notice are as follows. The buyers may terminate the contract at any time prior to closing. The buyers can file a lawsuit for damages after closing. Damages may require a seller to return all costs related to the purchase of the property back to a buyer, with the buyer reconveying the property back to the seller. In other words, the seller will buy back the house or the property. If a copy of the notice is executed at closing, buyers may not sue for damages. These penalties are similar to the current penalties applicable to the failure to provide a MUD notice. Updated sales contracts. TREC has updated its residential sales contracts, including the one to four family residential contract, resale, and unimproved property contract to reflect the new statutory requirement for sellers to provide a separate notice. Texas Realtors has updated several TXR sales contracts, including the new residential condominium contract and commercial contracts with the identical language found in the updated TREC contract to reflect the new statutory requirement. When to use the updated contracts. The current TREC and Texas Realtors sales contracts must be used if executed by the parties prior to September 1st, 2021. In other words, if you're negotiating a contract today or yesterday, and it's gonna be executed by midnight tonight, then you use the current forms. If your negotiations today or yesterday and everything gets executed tomorrow, September 1st, you will use the newly revised sales contracts. When using the new contracts, sellers will be required to attach the new PID notice as an addendum if the property is in a PID. Both versions of the sales contracts may be available on your forms, whatever vendor site that you use, such as zip forms or DocuSign.
On the one to four family, you'll notice a change on page four. How you know you're using the correct form is at the right hand top, you'll see November 8, 2021. And you'll see the change in um, paragraph six, section seven, public improvement district. This is what the new addendum containing notice of obligation to pay improvement district looks like. In here, you will only be discussing the name of the municipality or county that's levying the assessment, the address of the property, and the governing code or chapter. And you can see there will be a seller signature and a buyer signature. I will be doing a separate video explaining PID and explaining this agenda in the event that you have a property located in a PID. Have a great day. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll be able to help you.